Here's a fun little puzzle you can build in about half an hour. I bought this at an estate sale about 10 years ago and I was puzzled by it for a long... Puzzled by it, you get it? <laughs> anyway, I was puzzled by it for a long time. I attempted to duplicate this, but I failed miserably. So I kept studying it and studied it more, but I was still unable to unlock the mystery of the quarter trapped inside the wooden block. Then, I heard about a wise old Chinese man named Chang Huleng Huzong who lived in the Wutai Mountains. He sees only one visitor a year and bestows on this individual the answer to any one question in life he may have. So after six days of travel, I climbed the rugged mountainside of Wutai to a little hut on the edge of a cliff. I walked in and waited exactly 38 minutes and out walked Mr. Chang Huleng Huzong. I stood there in awe and reverence holding the block in my hand. I took a deep breath and nervously said to him, how are you? He said, fine. He turned and he walked away. I had just wasted my first and only question. And I was left with the puzzle still in my hand. And it took me another year before I figured out the secret to the quarter trapped in the wooden block. And fortunately for you, you don't have to climb any mountains. I am willing to share my secret knowledge with you. I bought this bag of beautiful walnut wood at Hobby Lobby for only six bucks after using a 40% off coupon. I used it for this sardines puzzle box which I made recently. The large blocks of wood are perfect for today's puzzle. This will be a one and three quarter inch square block. The original is about one and five eighths. It's best to use one solid piece of wood for this rather than gluing two pieces together. I mean, you can, but people might get a little suspicious if they see two pieces glued together. It might look like the quarter was sandwiched between the two halves of wood. And that's not how this trick is done. Locate the exact center of all six sides by drawing a diagonal line from corner to corner. I'm using a three quarter inch paddle bit, not drilling all the way through, but rather a little over halfway. Drilling a hole this way on all six sides will clear out the middle where the quarter will end up. I'll clean it up later, but first, it's time for a little bath. Take a pan filled with water that will completely cover the block of wood and Put a weight on top to hold it down. While waiting for the water to boil, prepare the next step by gathering together a hammer, a quarter, a needle nose pliers, and a sturdy surface. A word to the wise, use a pan you don't really care about. This is my thrift store pan. I've been yelled at plenty of times for taking the good stuff in the kitchen for my projects. After the water starts to boil, set a timer for an additional 15 minutes. After 15 minutes of boiling the wood block, it should be soft enough to forcefully pass the quarter through the opening. Here comes the big secret. After you've removed the wood from the pan, place it on a firm surface. Hold the quarter like this using a needle nose pliers. Give it a good whack or two, then push it in the rest of the way. This process may leave a slight indentation on each end where the quarter passed through the opening. And after it dries out, you can sand off any small marks that are left behind. That was cool. Let's watch that again. I'm not sure if it matters, but I'm putting it through the opening on the end grain. Other woods besides walnut will probably also work, but I just haven't tested them yet. I let the wood block dry overnight and then give it a good sanding with 100 grit followed by 220 grit. Although actual working time does take about 30 minutes, the boiling and drying times will obviously take a little longer. A little more sanding on all of the openings and after rounding off the edges, this will be ready for a simple finish. 
polyurethane, oil, shellac, whatever your preference. Or you can just leave it plain. This is the original puzzle. And these are two puzzles that I made. Frankly, I think mine look a whole lot better. If you're interested in building other cool puzzles for yourself, check out this puzzle playlist. And if you wanna to subscribe to my channel, click right over here. And as always, thanks for watching Alley Picked, where I love making cool things out of junk. Until next time, I'll meet you in the alley.